This is a simple alarm clock that was developed as a support request. And I'll go through it and show you how it works. Um, it's an easy way to make an alarm clock, and it just uses a few clock components. In the screen designer, we use a current time clock that displays the current time and the current time label, which will be right here. Its interval is set to 1,000. And it is enabled initially. There's also alarm clock timer, which is used to compare the alarm time value to the current time. Its interval is set to 1,000, and it's initially disabled. It's controlled by the on-off button. In the block viewer, the current time clock format time block, this one here, returns a text string containing the current time in hour, minute, second, a.m., p.m. format, and that's placed in the current time label. The user enters an alarm time and touches the on-off button, which is initially off. That enables the alarm clock timer, this here, which then compares the alarm time to the system time. Each of the values picked with the alarm time list pickers is joined to form a string in the text current time label. Uh, each of the values picked with the alarm time list pickers is joined to form, I'm reading here, is joined to form a string to match the text and current time label. If the times match, then alarm clock timer is stopped and the alarm event procedure is called to display ding-a-ling on the title bar. Alarm event can execute any blocks needed by the app when the alarm is triggered. So I'll show you how that works. We're now currently 10.40.50 a.m. So I'll set this for 10.41.30. Better do it higher. Do it 42. We don't have to rush here. 10.42, 0, and AM is OK. Just to show you how that works, let's use AM repeating. And we'll turn the alarm on. And we'll wait about 20 seconds, and it should fire. If it works correctly, it will display ding -a on the title bar. Play it. And you notice it also turned off the alarm that's set right here, set on off button text to off. If there was a match, that can be changed if you don't want it to behave that way. So it w the alarm has to be reset each time. And that is it.